Welcome back to our channel, guys. This is gonna be an ultimate push workout for Muscle Growth Explained video from the 2023. I'm gonna be getting into the gym and trying to do some of these workouts. I uh, work out two to three times uh, per week in the gym. I do follow Jeff Nippert's videos pretty often, so let's see how this goes. Okay, push day number one. We have seven different exercises to hit the chest, shoulders, and triceps. As per Jeff's video, I'm starting with five minutes on the Stairmaster and moving into some dynamic warm-ups such as arm circles and cable external rotations. Getting into the actual exercise, Jeff recommended a full warm-up pyramid in his video, which I'm listing on the screen here. I was using a Smith machine, so I added 10 pounds on each side to get a total of 35 pounds to start with. I moved up the weights, eventually adding up to 195 pounds, which was my previous PR. Typically in my set, I would start off with 135 pounds, which I would move up by 25s until I reached 195 with a RIR of one. With the warm-up pyramid, I was able to get three full reps of 195 pounds. Next, I have the Larson Press. There were no extra benches that I could use in the gym, so I lifted my legs for a modified Larson Press. Up next is the Sitting Dumbbell Arnold Press. I typically go for an incline bench here, but because Jeff recommended it, I loaded it up with 35s. I found that a little bit easier, so I pushed to 45s for my second and third set of eight reps. Um, who says how to get an awfully close to you in the gym? And up next, I have a workout that I saw at the end of Jeff's video. I really liked it, so I added in for some extra volume for my shoulders. And up next is a press round, two sets of 12 to 15 reps with a 30 second hold for a stretch in between. Personally, I love doing cables. I can really feel the stretch and the tension on the muscle and I'm able to get that mind muscle connection which helps me focus on bench next time I go to it. For any exercise on cables, you really don't have to load up too heavy to get a good stretch on the pec. So I feel like anything on the cable machine is a great build up to anything chest or back related. The cross body cable Y raise is probably my favorite exercise of the workout. It's a little different than most things you'll find in the gym, and you can get a really good stretch with very little weight added to the bar. And for the sixth workout, we are going to superset a squeeze only press down and a stretch only overhead extension. If I were to redo this exercise, I would probably get two separate bars. I was able to go a lot heavier on the press down than I was the overhead, which led to more hypertrophic stimulus on the overhead than the press down. Overall, I really like the exercise. I'll probably be adding it into my weekly routine. The last workout is the cross body tricep extension, two sets of 10 to 12 reps. I found this my least favorite exercise of the workout. I was unable to overload myself on this workout because it came down to grip strength and the tension on the string. I really couldn't get a good connection with it and really never felt anything from it so I would probably not do this one again. So whether you are a power lifter or not, I think this is a great program and I had a really great experience and I can't wait to try his other videos. Never. Tuh. And welcome back, guys. This is... Welcome to our channel, guys. What is up, you guys? What is up, you guys? All right. Yeah. All right. All right, welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel. All right. <laughs> what was that for, <laughs> So, babe, what are we doing today? All right. 
Welcome to our channel, guys. Today we're going to be going through a workout of Jeff, Jeff Nippard's. Blah. I can't say his name with my Jeff Nippard. <laughs> Jeff Nippard. Jeff right. Nippard. Jeff Nippard. All right. Should I just totally botch his name? <laughs> Jippard Neff. 